All right, we just showed up to the auction facility and they're doing the auction outside today. We got supposedly 500 lots and that lot right there looks amazing actually. I like that. 75, 75, 75. This is gonna make or break the whole day right here. That, what is that? Let's see it. What is it? Do you have any idea? Actually, I'm scared. Can one of you? I'm gonna say it's tools. Yeah. It might be right. Dude, it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. I was so excited about that. Don't be I dealt with people Don't like you my whole life, dude. You're just an. I'm not recording him. That's the idea. It's like you've been to auctions. You don't record the auctions. I record wherever I want to record. What the freak are you talking yeah, about? That's what I said. You don't keep that, guys. I do, though. All right. No, you don't. You know? I'm doing it right now. What are you going to do about it? Guys, keep the auction. Really? Guys, come on. Yeah. Keep an auction. All right, give me 25 points. In your clothes, 25. too. 25. Wait. Told you that was gonna happen. I won't lie in this world, man. You need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Breach. I don't think they know. Oh, no way. So we are here, all the way up by New York, um, about two hours away from where we live. And we are at this epic hotel behind me for the night because we're going to this huge pallet auction tomorrow. Five up and out ten. Five up and out ten. We're super stoked about it, but we just got here. We had no idea how cool this hotel was. They have a pool. They have a big fire pit I see over there that's going off. Um, it's a really, really nice place and we're stoked about it. And we just got sushi. So we parked the truck here. Got the big trailer. Empty, but it won't be tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be filled with gold and the truck with no cap. So we're going in right now. Going in. Let me grab my, uh, I gotta put the electric skateboards in the car. Cause no, but I don't want nobody to steal them. But yeah, it's going down. I hear the music bumping. The best part about this board Hey! Thinking. Didn't know he hey. had a hoe bug there. Yeah, we did. Best part about the Max Fine board is I don't need the controller. If it's off, I can just ride it. It's like a regular skateboard. I'm just saying the other ones aren't all like that. Because the controller is in my bag. Yeah, should we hit this sash right now? Not everybody likes to do this, but I like to do it. Room reveal. Let's see it. To compare it. How do I keep this open? This is a nothing too special in here, boys. King sweet, baby. Turn them lights on. I don't see nobody. I can figure out how to turn, turn them on. Turn on the other light. Oh, this is nice. I like this, because I don't like when the rooms are too big. You know what I mean? It's like, so this is the king bed. And see this couch? That's where all the magic happens. With the bug bug. And by magic... I mean, me sitting there butt naked eating sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and eating miso soup. We're gonna do the clap thing so that we can match it up. Clap. And go, oh, action. So, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to run everyone through the auction uh, that we went to. Uh, many people might not understand how these things work like how we didn't understand anything about them before we started going to them. For some reason, they did the auction outside this time, uh, so there was a lot of interference in the audio, and it might be a little bit confusing about what happened because it all happened so fast, uh, but I just wanted to run run through it. So 
found out about the auction, that specific auction from our, from our friend Ron Glom. Somehow he saw it on Facebook or something and basically told us about it. And ever since then, we've been going to it, you know, a few times a year. Not every time they have it, but it's a really good auction and you can find some awesome stuff there. Uh, it's the only pallet storage auction that I know about that I've ever been to. Um, and the only one that they do like that on the East Coast that I've ever heard of. Basically, you just we, we went up the night before. We stayed at a hotel. Had some fun there. <laughs> nice hotel. Had a good old time. Uh, that when we woke up the next morning, bright and early, ready for the auction. So we're down here at the Continental Breakfast, and it's not Continental. Uh, what does Continental mean? Are you guys eating here or to go? Uh, here. Here? Or to go. Here's fine. No, to go, right? To go where? Like, to go up to the room or like... Yeah, what? Yeah. it's up to you. To go up to, to the go. room. Yeah, she knew what I meant though. <laughs> <laughs> Is there coffee down here too? Yeah, I have coffee as well. Oh, good. Alright, so I'm gonna do the, um... Thank you. No problem. Is... Have, do, have you eaten the stuff here? Yeah. Is the do you like the breakfast burrito? I do, but you have to like open it and like put like salt and pepper on it. All right. What do you think the balanced breakfast sandwich is better? It's good, but it's not as good. It's not as good. <laughs> it's not good, dude. <laughs> We're gonna have to just get a Wendy's now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Before auctions. <laughs> <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> no free coffee at this one. Starbucks coffee. This is a luxury. This is a luxury hotel, right? You paid thirty something dollars for breakfast. <laughs> I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Dreaming big dreams Do not disturb I got something to add to that And it's called scrambled eggs and bacon <laughs> And I get to eat your bacon too All right, so we're about to check out of the hotel. We're getting ready to head over to the facility, get this auction started, and get some gold. Uh, good old Max Fine Board. I've been riding around and getting it. Ooh. All right, so we got our breakfast, and then we go to the auction. And what you do is you go sign up at the table, and they give you a slip like this. And it has just your auction number on it um, so they can write it on the lot when you buy it uh, so it's that easy you just tell them you know fill out a little card with your name address phone number email all that stuff they give you a slip like this anybody can come open to the public you don't have to have any certifications or anything um, and then you just wait all right so we're dressed up as elves today for the event and doing it on purpose kind of uh, I suggested we dress as elves, A, to get in this Christmas spirit, but B, also because I don't know if other people have realized it, 
but literally in this business there's a lot of people that take it really really seriously um, which is good because running a business is really serious but at the same time i think the auction atmosphere gets very heated very quickly what are you gonna do about it guys keep that awesome. really guys, come on. um and a lot of times for no reason at all so i hope this can lighten up the day and lighten up the whole auction and people will smile and laugh and have something to say and if they're being rude to us in any way i'm just gonna bust out the candy canes and throw them to them and be like merry christmas brother or sister or whoever but uh yeah lighten the day lighten the atmosphere that's the plan it is kind of funny pulling up to i mean this is a this is pretty much a luxury hotel pulling up to the front with the whole trailer and everything uh it's it's pretty funny all right we just showed up to the auction facility it's like a massive warehouse that's like bigger than our entire town where we live uh, and they're doing the auction outside today which is new for us we've heard of them doing it like that but we've never been there before when they were doing it like that all right so here it is look at this we got supposedly 500 lots and that lot right there looks amazing actually check this cloud out I like that I think the whole original crew is just over the auction. Like the, the very first time we came here, not a single person from that time is here. No, yeah, because I was trying to recognize faces and I was like, mm, I don't know yet. So this is what we got for the auction. 500 pallets or 500 lots, they claim. Yeah, but they threw it. I feel like it's a lot of shitty stuff. I feel like it's a lot different now. Yeah, oh, like, there's the boy. Like. He, he's the main him. guy. It's this stuff here. Hey, go ahead. I'll wait for the end of the What's this couch looking like? That's a table. Oh, that's a nice couch, though seeing some animal hair on there though. I don't really recognize anyone that's here. It looks like they do it like differently. It seems like. Right? I think the whole original crew is just over the auction. Like the, the very first time we came here, not a single person from that time is here. No, yeah, because I was trying to recognize faces and I was like, mm, I don't know yet. So this is what we got for the auction. 500 pallets or 500 lots they claim yeah but they threw it i feel like it's a lot of shitty stuff i feel like it's a lot different now yeah, oh there's like, the boy like he he's the main him. guy it's this stuff here hey go ahead i'll wait for the end of the show. what's this couch looking like It's a table. Oh, that's a nice couch, though. Seeing some animal hair on there, though. Yeah, there's a lot of people. It's just nice to see more. If you buy it, don't go through it here. All right, the auction is about to start. We're on a really, really busy highway. So I have no idea how the sound's gonna sound. We might have to do like interviews later and do some like overlaying of audio because the, the audio is gonna be terrible today. So I apologize for that, but we're about to get started. Um, and yeah, let's just get into a general idea. Buy stuff for as cheap as possible because it's hard to even tell what's in any of this stuff. It's all a mystery basically. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it's good. 
Is he gonna sell it all as lots though? Cause like who would want all that? If you know what's in there, like I didn't even take a peek at the, the chairs. Fifty bucks more. Twenty five. Twenty five. Fifty. Fifty. I like fifty better. Seventy five. He said twenty five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Seventy five. Now one hundred. One hundred bucks. How about one? How about one hundred? Now one twenty five. How about one twenty five? How about one twenty five? Now one fifty. One fifty. One twenty five. Now one fifty. One twenty five. First lot was this entire thing. Uh, it's basically three and a half pallets and it sold for 125 so not bad the couch is worth 125 check this out though there's like artwork in here wrapped and i got we got the craziest piece of artwork at this same auction before so yeah there's some artwork in here mona, mona lisa I buy up now ten. No, no, it was here. It's by itself. Buy up now ten. Buy up now ten. Go for five bucks. I'm one ten. Don't look until you pay. I'm never gonna I look. I'm just gonna throw it out. Five bucks. <laughs> Here's the number though. Right, um... I bought a mystery thing. He wouldn't let me look at it for five bucks. So hopefully it's a TV. I have no idea. this out there's a crazy looking case in there this is like a barber shop chair another chair in there this is a good one i really like this lot right here and you can just not take the mattress if you don't want it good lot no idea what this is but that's freaking cool looking What the? No way. I don't know. That's cool. This is a good lot. Look at this freaking stove, dude. The Detroit Jewel. No way. That thing's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's from like the 1700s. Yeah. Yeah, people people use it still though, like maybe for a movie or something, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean that up real nice. What if there was like pizza still left in there? <laughs> Somebody obviously had it in storage because they wanted it though, you know? Yeah. this one 
it's it's uh I wouldn't say it's great, but it's it's good stuff. You'll see. Look at this, look at this fire. Sons of Anarchy. Jacket. Worth about five for the whole lot. Did you bid on this one? Not yet. Only on this one, I think. No, that one's sold. Uh, I can't hear anything. Me like neither. I'm like deaf already, so. This is what I like to do. Poke around in there and see what's in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cut it open. There's a really cool, icons. crazy, uh, yeah, like, wood thing. wooden thing in there. What is that? But the religious things, the whole, they're like Russian. They could be fucking really good, or they could be shit. Yeah. No, I like that lot a lot. I It just started going high, and I bought the one before it, so I was like, why? I'm hungover. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Atlantic City at 4 a.m. Not bad, not bad. You could use this in your kitchen. Yeah, I make some fucking... I don't even know I make. Pizza. Pizza <laughs> oven. This is where it gets crazy. Stop the tape right here. No, no, not actually. <laughs> so, we've been to this auction before a number of times, 10 times or something. Filmed the auction every single time. Never a problem. So this guy starts in on me. He's like, I thought you weren't supposed to be able to film the auction. Right, I thought you weren't supposed to record it, man. This guy's got a camera recording. You can record me. It's okay. Yeah, people don't want to be on YouTube, so if you want to take a picture of the object, I don't oh, care. Man. That's yeah. fine. All right, 50 bucks. Tell him the guy, he was tattletailing on me to the guy that was running it. Uh, he can't film the auction. He's not allowed to film the auction. And the guy who runs it was like, Whatever, I, uh, you know, I've talked to the guy about it before. He was like, just don't film people's faces. That's pretty much all he said. But other than that, go ahead. It's a public space. I mean, nobody's there dictating what's going on. So either way, he starts in on me. Um, at this point in our lives, we're 30 years old. We're grown, we're grown adults. So to be intimidated by somebody isn't really part of my job description anymore like maybe when i was 12 years old i let people intimidate me so i just started going in on them and just literally flipping like you can't be intimidating me i'm allowed to film here i was told i was allowed to film here um basically like you suck it basically like you're you're being an asshole yeah so this was like the biggest battle royale that the elf myself and this guy like that i've ever had at an auction so uh, I'll just show, you know, the footage of the fight, if we even have any. I'll try and dumb it down and cut out as much cursing or whatever, because uh, that's not cool. I can re it's a public space. I can no, record whatever I want. Space. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. What are you trying to talk about? Don't I deal with people Don't like you my whole life. Dude, you're just an I just asshole. Want you I just want you I'm not recording him. That's the idea. It's like you've been to auctions. You don't record the auctions. Period. I record wherever I want to record. What the talking yeah, about? That's what I said. Just you don't record record that guy. Just keep I do, though. All right. No, you don't. You don't. I'm doing it right now. What are you going to do about it? Guys, keep that. Really? Guys, come on. Yeah. All right, give me 25 for this. In your closing, too. 25. 25. Give me 25. Give me 25. Give me 10 dollars for it. Told you that was gonna happen. I made friends with somebody else that was at the auction and he goes there often. His name is Eddie. He's got two stores in the Bronx. Um, and they show up, a lot of people show up to those auctions with like a crew crew, especially if they have stores um, so that they have a crew to help them load because they buy like a lot of the pallets. But either way, I was talking to Eddie the whole time, 
and when while we were like in the middle of talking I noticed because I was like looking at you and then I it I started hearing like yelling from somebody else. What are you gonna do about it? Guys, keep that awesome. Really? Guys, come on. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, give me twenty five for in your clothes. Twenty five. And then I started looking at your facial expressions and I was like, ooh. I was like baby mad. So <laughs> I was just laughing. Me and Eddie were laughing because I was like, how are you going to try to be hard at Elf Outfit? <laughs> and then I was like, I was telling Eddie, I was like, oh, he's just high strung like his daddy. Because like Turner is high strung. And I didn't, what, what am I going to do? So I was just pretty much just laughing at you. Because um, I knew it was probably something like dumb. And I... I kind of assumed that it was about the filming because something was mentioned the last time. But when we first got there, that guy that Turner was fighting with was one of the only people I recognized from the other times we had been to this specific auction. So it made me feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't really know why. Um, and I said that to the guy too when we first showed up there. I was like, oh, I recognize you. I don't know if we got that on film, probably not, because it was really quick. And he did end up apologizing to Turner after, I don't know if you explained that, which was nice. I mean, I don't know, God, men are just like, I understand. And did, did you say he was watching Storage Wars before he was, before he got there, or were you just kidding? I don't know, men are different, because like, I was just laughing, because it's like, just sit down. Both of you. He thought he was on Storage Wars. Um, maybe he thought he was on Storage Wars. You both thought you were on Storage Wars. That's just point. <laughs> That's just, what it was. I didn't think anything. I knew I was on Storage Wars. But you were in an elf outfit. So it made it funny. And it's just like, I was having a good old time. So I don't know. I was just laughing because, like, I know deep down Turner's not, like, uh, gonna sit there and like be mean to this guy for something so dumb so I was just like waiting for it to be over pretty much you know and it was very quickly so and at the end they shook hands and made amends so we'll see him next time and maybe they'll be sipping a cup of joe together Oh yeah, on the way home, I was like, me and Turner were talking, and I said, sometimes it's good when you argue with, I mean, he's not our work partner, but obviously he's into something that is similar to what we do, or what we like to do, and you just hash it out, and this is just with anybody in your life, uh, you just, you hash it out and then you end up being friends with them after because you realize that you have more in common more things in common than you knew okay before we move any further along with the video i need to say this first i was not right he was not right both people in this argument were wrong and two wrongs never make a right he apologized to me. I wanted to shake his hand and apologize to him, but I didn't know if he would accept that. But he came up to me uh, before the end of the auction and he said he was sorry for starting the fight. And I also said I was sorry. We shook hands and I basically like shook his hand and grabbed him on the back and said, that was wrong. We were both wrong basically like move forward and hopefully we can become friends. And my intention of putting this in the video wasn't to shame him or to make him look bad or to make me look bad because I did look bad in, in the video. It was just to show that these types of auctions can become really, really high strung. Um, it's kind of funny because we joked that he was watching Storage Wars. Maybe he thought he was on Storage Wars. You both thought you were on Storage Wars. That's just point, <laughs> that's do. what it was. Storage Wars isn't real, but those scenarios that happen in the show are real. And that's why the show is so popular, because it's showing real life. Um, but I also just wanted to say, 
I'm very, very serious about our business and our YouTube channel. And he's obviously very, very serious about the business that he's running. So two people who have differing opinions about a situation and both being very passionate about what they do in life, um, butting heads sometimes can turn ugly. It, it felt like the way he was trying to convince the auctioneer and the company that was running the auction to not let me film there felt at the time like in a direct assault on our purpose for being there which was to show the auction to film the auction obviously to buy stuff at the auction but even more so the video and that clearing all this stuff up before we move on is the best way to go and this is real life uh, we're showing real life so I know there's gonna be a comments comments saying I'm wrong there's gonna be comments saying he's wrong there's gonna be comments talking about something that has nothing to do with the argument obviously clarifying we're both wrong uh, and don't fall into things like this if you can avoid it. Um, I just had this preconception in my head that somebody was going to argue at the auction and I forgot to give them a candy cane. And I said that before that I was going to do that. Either way, it all turned out perfectly. He got what he wanted from the auction. We got what we wanted from the auction and we made amends. And that was the best uh, scenario that could have come out of it. So moving forward. Check this out. Some nice Uggs over here. Two pairs. Two pairs. And then another. Not bad. Uh, hoverboard. Those are boots. Oh, the hoverboards. It's kind of just junk though. Yeah. Cause, like, Cause then you look in here and it's like, mm, moldy. Yeah, toys. Some like, more of the stuff we already have at home to sell. Like kids pencil, like stuff like, like uh, This is. Yeah, it does have like that broken. weird dust on it. That's mold. Don't, maybe. I do white have disinfectant mold. wipes that. This is uh, an interesting. Everything's broken. Not, yeah, that's true. That's how we like it though. Yeah, we like mold. Look, there's jewelry in here too. CDs. Big TV. I just TV. like to know what's inside of these. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. usually when people have stuff in suitcases, it's like it's like stuff they dirty panties and <laughs> I love dirty panties. Oh, the best is when you get the safe. You feel the safe. Like, oh, shit, and there's, there's nothing in it. Hey, yo, but it's fucking dildos or porn. <laughs> in the safe? Yeah. That never happened to us before. Seventy percent of the time happens. <laughs> All right, so we bought one one lot of stuff and then another little item that was five dollars so i gotta go pay for it and then we can load it all up i'm just gonna make sure that we can get our truck and trailer up close to the lot that we bought so all in all very successful day but i will say the one that got away the item that got away i had this whole plan in my head about how i was gonna do this i'll tell you guys in a minute though all right, look at this guy who showed up after the auction. <laughs> after, I was here early. And he wanted to show me this thing. So I saw this earlier, look. Wait, so this is what you bought? No. <laughs> look at that, there's another one. And then if you go in the corner. Yo, those are like baby hands though. I mean, thought you go in the corner. This is, this is not fake, dude. That's like serious, that's what happens with blood. It dries like dark. Who who gets stuck with this? I don't know. I don't That's know. That's a creepy mattress, regardless. <laughs> this is like somebody just like murdered someone and then threw all this stuff in a storage unit. Yeah, underneath a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. This is what I bought this for five bucks. 
And I thought it was a TV, but now I don't know what it is. It could be a TV, yeah, actually. If you want. That was a good uh, $5 score, right? Yeah. All right. Cove. Speaker. I really, really like this speaker. Live life louder. Do you like this commuter? It's water resistant. What does two in one? This is the sand colored one. Because there's two speakers and it comes apart like with a magnet. Mm -hmm. You need a knife. I mean, this is just trash anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into this. Maybe put it in three boxes. What's in here? Uh, that's probably like just the, the paperwork, right? Oh, there is a cord to charge it, yeah. Oh. So there's two pieces and then there's two little things. So I'm assuming that that's for the... This is a sleek, Wow, this is really design. pretty. I like this. Wow. Oh, oh, wait. So what? You can listen to it yeah. like surround sound. Yeah. Okay. Or wow. you can put it on here together. All right, cool. Put it together. And then it's like mega sound. And then it's like meta sound. <laughs> yeah, then Paul could like put it on the back of his bike, you know what I mean? It'd be like, Santa Claus is coming. Santa Paul is coming to town. I use, uh, I listen to music every day, every day. More than Turner does. Uh, I use, I use the speakers all the time. Like we've, I've had speakers that we've gotten years ago. Uh, in like pallets or storage lockers. None of them are good. Um, but this one, Cove, is very good. And I've never seen anything like this, uh, speaker-wise, because it comes apart into two so that you can place them in different places. So it's kind of like surround sound. It's not like that loud, but you can tell the difference between this speaker, which is much more expensive than the ones that I've found before and that I have still. Uh, you could tell the difference. And it connects right away. Sometimes I was having problems with the other ones and they would just shut off. I mean, obviously this one's brand new too, but it's super sturdy, so like I'm not worried about like dropping it and breaking it, though I wouldn't suggest that. Um, it holds a charge for a really, really long time because, I mean, I could lie and tell you guys I haven't charged it since I got it, but I'm like super on that because I have to have charge boxes charged all the time with for traveling and just everything that we use to film, but it does hold a charge very well so far um, we, test it out. we can test it out I have my phone actually I could do the copyright free what were you doing uh, when you were at the hotel with the speaker I wasn't doing anything are you gonna put that on there <laughs> I wasn't doing anything I was trying to find a hot tub because it said pool slash whirlpool which that means hot tub right like the slash whirlpool means there's a hot tub there and it was a really nice hotel so i just we just assumed that there would most definitely be a hot tub if there's nice fireplaces they had nice little starbucks in there nice breakfast but i don't know what happened there at that hotel but the uh they scratched the whirlpool sign off and there was no Whirlpool. Hot tub. I don't know why. I don't like the word whirlpool. That just sounds scary. What's this? Art. We'll try it out though. Art list. 
And I, I kind of like the sound that it makes when it turns on. Say a lot. And you just press the middle. So I'll hold this one. Let's do this, right? And I think it, did it just hook up to the Bluetooth? My Bluetooth is just not on. Okay, it didn't automatically connect. The red line. So maybe it was because I wasn't close enough. This is called Dusty Waves. And you can like put one right here. And then one up here. If you're ballsy enough. Trust your cats a lot. friend Glom showed up. He's in the back of the truck. <laughs> but I got a new phone number, so he had contacted me. I just didn't know it because it was a different phone number. But uh yeah. So next, pull over. To where we need to go. and load up all the stuff. So we just got one unit. It's basically just like a couple pallets of stuff. The way that they do it here is they package everything up into pallets and sell it like that. I guess they store it like that and then they sell it like that. So it's kind of a mystery where you can't really see what's in it until you buy it. I mean, you can get a good idea of what's in it, but it's, it's a mystery. Mystery pallets, basically. But uh, I'm definitely bummed about that big stove because my plan was to let it just sit there until the end and then buy it from them. But obviously somebody else had the other plan because they did the same thing. And the stove sold for like literally $5. And I thought I was gonna get it for 10, but someone bought it for five. So easy come, easy go, I guess. But that was probably the coolest single item here was the stove. All right, so this is the unit that we bought. I don't know how great it is, but... Dude, your books are going on my side. Dude, I feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is nobody reads anymore. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Hey, shut up. Our friends from the hotel showed up. Yeah. This is good stuff, right? This chair? Or the chair? I don't know. We were looking through it. I mean, it's not much, but it's gold. Oh, I don't know. Can you say anything? On that dude. That bad, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think they're gonna bring them over when they um Quick flips. And they're metal. I mean, on that cheap wood stuff. Another uh, rack for Sammy. Tripping hazard? <laughs> So that's it? Dude, we were battling. Oh, dude. It was gold. That's easy too to sell because then it's like it's not heavy, they don't need to bring four people with them. the knife? No, oh, you don't? Home. Oh, I have it. I have it. I have one. All right. This is what I, this is what I really wanted to say. This is going to make or break the whole day right here. What is that? Alright, Let's see it. What is it? Do you have any idea? Actually, I'm scared. Can one of you? I'm gonna say it's tools. Yeah? It might be right. Dude, it's the worst thing ever! <laughs> that was terrible! I was so excited about that. I wouldn't expect that man. I mean, yeah, this is a nice speaker, though. I wonder if that's, like, rechargeable. That's nice. And the rest is just pillows. Where? Just pillows. Just pillows? Yeah. I like pillows. Nah, not these ones. <laughs> oh, wait, there's sheets in here. That's not bad. This is nice. It smells good. It smells good. You want to smell it, Bob? You guys want to smell? What do you guys think? Pretty good, actually. See? Yeah. That's, cool. That's good to go.
What did we got in there? There's a lot of hair in there, dude. Hair? Hair. It's not as bad as what we saw before. That sucker knows that I know that you don't know about. <laughs> well, I haven't seen it yet, but there's a lot of hair in there. Maybe that's part of it? It's not Maybe just that's... like someone's strand of hair. It's like... Should I dump it out? Ew. Oh, wow. because it was a barber cut. Whoa. These are all the dirty rags, dude. Because he had a barber shop in his basement. This is all from a barber shop. And he was just sleeping on the mattress on the ground in the barber shop with these dirty rags. Ew. It's hot. That's all blood. Smell check. That's my hair dye. I'm all right. I mean, these dudes are. <laughs> I mean, these dudes are from the Bronx. They know how to do stuff. They're not playing. Legends. Did you clap them up? Yeah, it's my friend. That's your boy. I have no idea what he says, but like, I just... What do they do with all the mattresses, bro? Do you want to get her reaction on that piece? Or yeah, let's do it, let's do it. All right, all right, let's go. We don't need that. No? Nah, because this is better audio. Did you ever see the cinematic feature? Nice, right? That's what it he's is, doing. but it likes to do these weird... Focusing on the tap the screen. Yeah. It's down there. It's all the way at the end. What is this? What is it? It's something you brought here? I didn't bring it. Somebody brought it. <laughs> Put it this way. Nobody would ever bring that. Remember when you guys went out to like LA or whatever? You saw the American Horror Story house? Yeah. What's the one thing that spots out to you when you went there? And like the people on the side of the road? Okay, the mattress, here you go. That was the prop mattress. This is the real mattress. That was a prop mattress. This is the real mattress. But wait, look over there. Bloody handprint. Or yo. Yeah. Explain that. That's real. That's not fake. That's, it's dried up blood. Is this? No one bought this. Nobody, Nobody wants this. Nobody wanted it, but it's part of it. You know where this would sell a nice at? Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> What'd you find? Well, I was calling them schmucks. Schmucks. Oh, schmucks. Oh, schmucks. I don't know. Barbershop schmucks. I'm going to put Godfather Paul in one of these. You can use that for me when you cut my hair. And the barber shop. Yeah, and the chair. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So this is uh, going home. That's good. Is that Ikea? Looks like it. That doesn't look that great though. I could almost guarantee you that some of these that some of these books are worth something though. Cause like you don't just have all these books for no reason. Scream seventies. <laughs> Brooklyn Public Library. So he left this whole pallet here and said we could take whatever we wanted. That's why we're going through it. It's definitely not the first edition now, I'll tell you that. He's missing out on some gold though in here. All right, so this guy bought this pallet in hopes that there was like African artifacts, which there was. There was like a crazy wooden like sculpture thing. The table sculpture top but we're coming across what he left behind here and Glom is pulling out something crazy. That might be part of it too. This could be uh, something really crazy. A table? Or place, just a stuff? table, I guess. Well, right. these might be the leaves. What, maybe? There, you want this knife? Yeah, that would be This is probably a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, 
all the ends are, are done up. Regardless, that's a pretty cool table. Is that metal? Yeah. Either. The person that wraps these is not happy. Although they do them over a span of time. Yeah. Well, That's cool a pretty table. cool table though. I mean, the top's ruined, but not the worst thing I've ever seen. All right, we're moving along here. We have like everything from our load packed up, but the guy next to us, super, super cool guy. He got what he wanted and he left the rest of it. He said it's trash. So I, we loaded the one shelf. That's fine. It'll be like a $30 sell. And then we're going to put two more shelves from his lot in with ours because why not? Scissors in here? Yeah, on the other side. I do. Yeah. So we're going to take this shelf, big shelf, and those are the things that go in it, probably, right? Yeah, the shelves. And then this little shelf that goes with it. So that's not bad. All in all, a good day out here. Some come ups. Load it up. So, what's the um, you think we did well today? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm glad Bob is here to help. Pound it up. For the little guy, right? Yeah, if you want to take a blanket, cover it completely with a blanket. Right here, that way you want to keep everything, so you don't want shit flying around. Or put these down in there, right? What do you well, think? Well, if you put that wooden piece in one of them, or even both of them, you stack them with the, the blankets, I think it'd be fine. All right, that's a wrap. We bought this one lot and got some stuff from this one next to us that he was throwing out. So we got a trailer full of stuff some decent good shelves and a whole bunch of other stuff a sweet barber chair and we're good to go solid day had to battle a couple guys out here one guy only um, but then he ended up coming back and apologizing because he started a fight with me for no reason and that was really cool so <laughs> we are done loading everything. I just had to turn the trailer and truck totally around in a small area and it wasn't very fun, but we're ready to go. So two hour ride back home and then to unload and see what we've got and post it up online and sell it. So another day, another load of junk. Claims. I mean, it was nothing spectacular, but I had fun. I was liking the stuff this yeah. time. I, the only, it wasn't like overwhelming. It was the only time I didn't bite off more than I could chew. There wasn't, uh, it was slim pickings. Anyway, that, and everybody that's been here that like we've recognized said the same thing. Like it's, they said it's, they said it's been uh, consistently getting worse, but that's, well, they've consistently be doing less and less of them. Or I mean, more and more of them, I'm an idiot. More and more of them, so there's less and less stuff. Yeah. Whereas originally, they only did two a year. Now there's one every three months. Because they need to just get rid of this stuff, I guess. Yeah, it's always hit or miss. Like, can't expect 
expect to come here every time and score like good, good quality stuff. Like, it is what it is. That's the game. That's the name of the game. I thought that that was good quality stuff. It just wasn't like, woo. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, holy shit. What was that? That car. Or was it this truck behind us? Okay, we made it safe and sound back home to Summers Point with everything um, becoming better at packaging this stuff, it seems like, because everything keeps making it back safely. Everything. And wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Just showed up. Check it out, what's on the front porch. Bam, another Vitalon electric bike no they didn't just hook us up again what what on it dude the v3 too dreamer the one item that i did not even look in which is what i thought it, i was hoping it was a tv but now i'm just so confused it's not a tv it's just straight up not a TV. All right, mystery item. I paid five dollars for this. Let's see what it is. I don't think it's a TV anymore. Like I did. All right, we're back again to see what it is. Because apparently I'm good at losing the knife and the GoPro stand that I usually use is gone, along with the GoPro 10 somewhere. But. Hoping they'll turn up around the house somewhere. But who knows? Let's see this. Uh, what's your guys' guess on what this could be? It's about three inches wide. The top has like a little divot. I'm kind of getting an idea of what it is now. A guess, anyway. Whereas before, I literally thought it was a TV. Okay, no, I had no idea what this is. I still have no idea what this is. It's just like a baby gate, I guess. Type of. See, at first I thought it was a TV, then because I saw the top like this, I thought it was a dartboard. Now, I'm still confused. Baby gate, I guess. That's not bad. I guess this is part of that whole tray thing. The baby gate though. I'm gonna put that in the shed. Could be a sign. All right, this is the other box that we never looked in. That's creepy, greasy. Why was this ever packed? Why was this ever allowed to be packed like this? I'd be so mad if these were my personal belongings. What is this even? No 
idea. Scrap, I guess. A lamp? A creepy tray that's all greasy. It's got like massive amounts of human hair. So it's definitely all from a barber shop. I'm starting to get that gist. I knew I heard some legends in there. You want this shot? No, he didn't. <laughs> Yo! No way. What a squad. That freaking setup What's is good, dude? real. What, in the catio? The whole John. Oh, man. This door, though. So our friends came over uh, to help me with the snowmobile again because somebody in upstate New York wants to buy it. This snowmobile that we got out of the barn. And for some reason I couldn't get it running, I guess because it's been sitting for so long. But the boys got it running for the most part so I could send a video of it running to the guy there's a few different people who are interested in this got to turn the gas off there but this is a beast of a sled snowmobile and it's going to sell it's going to sell in the next couple of days so thank you to the boys greg and will but yeah signing off epic day epic night last night actually at the hotel super fun time and awesome auction today we got some cool stuff and i'm going to go through everything tomorrow and post it all up i posted a few things on facebook marketplace but got to get the rest of it out of the trailer i'm leaving it wrapped right now for now most of it so that it doesn't get wet even though it's only like a two percent chance of rain it's just all wrapped in plastic basically what's left in there so signing off, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Good night.